Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm ready to make another Tinkercad character. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, if you haven't seen this lesson, I will have a link up above. This is the original character. He is not changeable. He changes all at once if you mess with him. This is my character that I created. We can put any color we want as we build these characters the way we want to build them. Friends, I'm going to hit undo and put his little purple shirt back. Friends, it's time to make a second character, so let me show you how it works. First, I found a character to model under Creatures and Characters. We need to hit more, and we need to hit more, and then you find all the characters. You can see arms down, you can see hand up, and all the other people. This time I want to make one of the young ladies. Watch this. Like we did in the first one, once again, if you haven't seen that tutorial, it's above. We just bring them out and make the same type shape. So, back to basic shapes. I'm going to start with the shoes. These shoes are just cylinders. The skill I want you to know is to hold, shift, and shrink. You can see that's about the same size as the toe. I'm going to stretch it back. I'm going to move it down. It looks like they did 1.5 for the height, so let's type that in. And let's make it black just so it matches what that young lady has. If we tuck this in here, you can see that is almost a perfect match. Let's do Control D, use the arrow keys to nudge it across. This dress, I think, is the paraboloid. Once again, when we bring it in, hold down Shift and shrink it. That looks awful close to the same size. I'm gonna give my little buddy a yellow dress. I'm gonna leave the height the exact same. Let's find a cylinder for the body. When we bring this out, hold down shift and get it close. This looks about the same size, but it has a bevel. So let's click on the bevel, put two and press enter. Boom, that's close. I'm gonna try instead of two, I'm gonna try 1.5. And you can make your person look totally different. You do not have to make an exact copy. So. I'm going to take these two shoes. So this is called selecting. I'm drawing a box that only touches the shoes, and I'm going to group them. I want them to stay together. I'm going to lift the body up, and we're going to center this right now. Now, the rest of these people are kind of in my way for this, so I'm going to hide them. Notice i got to look from this angle to hide these pieces. And now I can easily grab all of these parts, click a line. I'm going to make the dress the master, and I want them to be centered, and then I just want these two to be centered. This way. That is pretty spiffy. If we hit the light bulb, we can bring everybody back. So we've learned how to height apart, and we've learned how to bring apart back. This is not the same height as the young lady, so I'm gonna lift her up just a little more. And then that shows me I need to lift this up a little more. And it also looks like it needs to be wider. So I'm going to type 16 and press enter. And 16 and press enter. Let's do shift select. So I'm holding shift and clicking on the middle. Let's do a line and say, hey, middle, you're the boss. Look at it from one of the corners and say, I want this middle. And then I'm going to look over here from this corner and see now you can real easily see the three different middle dots. And we want that middle dot. My toes are sticking out just a little too far. One tap to bring them back. You can adjust that if you want. Now friends, this is one of my favorite parts. We can take this entire hand. So I'm going to hide both of these people. And I'm going to hide these little fingers. And I'm going to grab this entire arm and do control D. I'm going to nudge it out and I'm going to add it to my little girl. It looks like it needs to come up a couple clicks. And then let's pick our colors. I'm going to actually make this a custom blue. I like that blue and then see this number. I'm going to double click and I'm going to do control C to copy it. I'm going to go over here to my arm and on the cylinder, I'm going to go to the color. I'm going to double click backspace and I'm going to do control V to paste that same blue so it matches. Now this second arm goes down. So what I'm going to do is just click on this, hold down shift and click on this piece. No fingers. I'm going to do control D 
and I'm going to pull this out towards me so I can see it better. Can you see that that looks just like the arm? Now I'm going to take the rotation handle and I want to bring it down just about there. Can you see that this looks just like this? Then we're going to bring it back into the body. Notice I'm just nudging until it lines up. See how this right here is in the middle? And now we can bring it over. And then control on the left side of the keyboard or right lets you move it down and out. Just like that, we've got the young girl and the dress. We've got to add hair and the head. Well, if you haven't figured this out yet, friends, we are going to simply grab the other head and I'm gonna erase all of these. So from the neck down real quickly. So that makes it super simple to grab this head. And we're gonna do Control D and nudge them forward. Control up to get it to the right height. And we can just nudge them into place until we're happy. Let's hit Show All to bring everything back. I'm gonna change this person's color just because that makes it fun too. I'm going to go back to presets. Let's go with this one and this one. Let's use the tube for the band. It has parameters. I'm going to tell you to change it to 6 and 0 0.75. You can see that looks like a hairband. Let's move it over with the arrow keys. Do control up to raise it up. You can hold the control key while you do it nudge it back and then find that corner and then we want to use rotate to get it to the exact angle we want I'm gonna go right there and then let's use a line to line it up I'm gonna click shift and the blue band and click a line and I'm gonna use the center of the head as the middle don't forget to hit this so you can easily see center and let's see if this center works yes it does that is lined up pretty darn spiffy. Friends, we want to add some hair. This hair looks like the paraboloid. You'll notice it is flipped. The easiest way to do that is with the cool mirror button. I am going to get it in an angle so you can see this though. The up and down flip was right there. Then it was made skinny. So let's just click on it and make it thinner. And let's do black hair again just because that's pretty easy and slick. And now let's change this width. Let's go from 20 to 10. That's pretty close. All right, friends, let's align this super quick. Click on your hair, hold down shift, click on your head. Choose a line, click the head. We want to make sure we align it to the back, and we want to go to the top, and we want to be in the middle. So now it is in the right spot. Friends, I'm going to tell you we're going to rotate this a few degrees. Find this one so you can see from an angle, and then make sure you go to the arrow shape. Don't go to the center of that. Go to the arrow. I'm going to tell you 9 or 10 degrees is good. And then control down till your hair is in the back. And then use the arrow to nudge it back out so you can see it. Notice I went the wrong way, so I'm going to do control Z. I'm also going to set my nudge to 1. I'm going to do the other arrow. And that is a lot closer. Now I'm going to set my nudge to 0.1. And then I'm going to use that opposite arrow to nudge it in, just like that. I want to make sure the band comes out behind it. So once again, click on it and nudge till it pokes out. That's pretty good, but it looks a little high. Click on it and do control down arrow until it sinks in just the way you want. Friends, I think her hair looks a little gray, so I'm going to make it a little more black. I'm going to do that by doing custom, and I'm going to come all the way down here to the... Friends, her hair looks a little gray to me, so I'm going to fix that by going to Custom, and I want to pull this all the way down to the full black. That, my friends, is a pretty nifty little young lady. And there you have it, friends. We have just taken another part and copied it. Now, remember, the bonus of this is we can go in and change the colors to anything we want as we make our person custom. I'm going to take these hand parts, and I'm going to make them match the color of my person, same thing down here. 
and you could continue to adjust as you made these more awesome. Now friends, I did this because I got to watch a student do it in my class. It was so cool seeing them find a person and then just mimic the person as they made their own custom characters. Friends, that's the kind of skill I want you to have when we're done. I want you to be able to say, I want something, look at, the, look at a picture or look at a model and make your exact replica. Friends, let's quickly do show all to bring everybody back. Remember, when you do make these characters, if you grab the entire character, so I'm making sure I've got this entire person, and I'm going to drag them to make sure I've got them, you can then take that person and make them a part. If you switch from wherever you are to your creations, if you hit Create Shape, I'm going to name her Lady, and then I'm going to just hit Save Shape. You could give her a list of colors, but that'll also show up. And from then on in Tinkercad, if you hit your creations, that person will be available in all the projects you create. Friends, I hope you have a ton of fun with this. There are so many other things that you can explore. Don't forget, if you ever make somebody awesome or anything awesome and want to share it with me, you can generate a link, copy the link, and you can reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, and Gmail. I am HLModTech on all three. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCad. If those do not work for you, you can also visit HLModTech.com. I've got a ton of cool things out on the Tinkercad tab. I've also got the built-in messaging service. You can click on this, fill it all out, and reach out to me almost instantly. And of course, friends, wrapping up, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.